Jammer, uh, your last game in a Bristol shirt, what are the emotions running through your mind after that? Uh, don't know. I couldn't really put a name. We're just feeling everything at the moment. You know, sad to be moving on for a club that I've, you know, really enjoyed playing for, and um, you know, definitely call home. Uh, but then, you know, excited for for what's next as well. The result wasn't what boys were looking for today, but the fact that Mitch's try at the end just showed the lads kept going right to the very end. Yeah, my try. Don't forget about that. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, obviously we, we we would have loved to have ended the season with a win at home. Um, it's what we've been talking about all week. Um, what should we just uh, did, didn't seem to come out the blocks quick enough. Um, second half was obviously a lot better. Um, closed down the the points gap. Um, but you know, like you said, with Mitch try Mitch's try at the end, um, we finished on a positive. Um, I just been in the change room and. You know, despite the loss and what's happened this year, everyone's still pretty positive. We've got a real tight knit group, you know, through everything that we've been through, and uh, it's just you know, been a pleasure and a privilege to, to be part of it. And as someone who's engaged with the supporters in your two and a half seasons here, what message have you got for them? Uh, just that you've been awesome, you know. Um, I couldn't ask for anything more. Yeah, you know, every time I come onto the field, I get a loud reception, and, you know, seem to be doing about 10,000 selfies every weekend is, you know, it is, it is awesome and, and really uh, overwhelming and I, I can't thank you guys enough. You'll be giving out your kit outside after this. Yeah, yeah, I've already given away my boots halfway around the lap, lap of the pitch and uh, I've got some uh, some old stash waiting in the car, I'm sure I can uh, find a new home for that stuff as well. So.